Oh my gosh, guys. Take a look. Oh my gosh. It is the most adorable little thing I've ever seen. That's right, guys. It's a two-headed snake. Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to the vlog. I tell you, this vlog is going to be exciting, but it's actually going to be a span of about five to six days. I'm about to head out on an epic road trip to acquire an amazing animal, something I cannot wait to share with you guys. I've been working on this animal for the last four months, and I am leaving today to start to head down to Texas. But with that said, we have a lot of stops along the way. It's going to be amazing, and in the end, I'm going to get the animal I've been so so wanting for such a long time. What do you say we get this adventure started? Ding, ding. My journey started heading to Chicago to meet up with a bunch of my YouTuber friends for a little summit at my buddy Greg from Aquascape's place. And then he took us over to the Shed Aquarium for a behind the scenes tour. Not only did we get to meet a bunch of really cool animals, but we also met a bunch of really awesome people. But my mind was still kind of preoccupied on my final destination, and that was Texas, in picking up this amazing new snake. I just pulled up into Indianapolis. I've actually been on the road now for I don't know a day and a half or so I'm basically this is gonna be a long adventure I'm here for a couple hours then I head to st. Louis I've got a quick little thing that I've got to do in st. Louis and then ultimately I'm rendezvousing with the person I'm picking this awesome animal up for in the Dallas area so I think we still have two days till we get there this is kind of a hippity hoppity type of a journey where I'm stopping in a bunch of places I'm really excited about this end result of getting where I want to go but there's a lot going on between now and then while stopping in Indianapolis I was able to to not only see my buddy Forrest's amazing collection, but also he was gonna be coming along with me on the rest of the journey. You have a lot of really cool animals. I mean, what is the most like kind of rare and maybe even most expensive animal you bought? That's that's a good question. I'm trying to think of, uh, I mean, there hasn't been a ton of stuff I've paid over, over $10,000 for, but there's been a lot of stuff I've paid five, you know, 5,000 plus for. Well, that, that boa has to be expensive. I mean, that oh, retail yeah. and that's gotta be a big. On the Princess Diamond? Yeah, Princess Diamond. Yeah, she, she was about 7000 Bought uh, the, a Fire Labyrinth from Chase for 7500 at the Arlington Show. Have you ever thought about that? Like how we just don't even think anything about paying like what some people would pay for a car. We're like, yeah, we just bought that for $7,500. Like it's like not even that expensive. What if we spent all this money on cool stuff? Like what if we got a boat? What if we got four-wheelers what if we had you know a sweet ass bro truck to go you know rod around and I don't have anything like that all I have is all these cool animals What's the longest distance you've ever went to go pick up an animal probably traveling down here to, to see Brooke to get the lemon tree female you came down to Texas to get that yeah I came down to Texas to get that I always think about how many people would drive 2400 miles to pick up with a, a snake that I'm doing right now and Forrest is coming along with me for the trip would you guys do that let me know in the comments I mean what's the longest distance you've ever driven to go get a an animal or something that you're really passionate about. I would do almost anything, right? Almost anything. Have you ever been offered a two-headed animal? I have not. Uh, one of my friends, uh, Bill McAdam and Bill, Bill Shanahan down in Florida, they had a two-headed boa last year. Oh, I think I saw that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. did yeah. it live? It did live, wow, yeah. Nice. I, I don't know who they sold it to, but I know wow. they did sell it for pretty big money, so. What would you pay for one? Man, I mean, I think I would probably pay well over ten ten thousand dollars for one you know as you know like both of us were kind of crazy we want to have like public facilities and share really cool rare things with you know a massive audience of people so you know when so an opportunity comes up on a really rare and unique animal sometimes you got to just bite the bullet and hope for the best two-headed animals can be expensive two-headed turtles are a little cheaper but they're still expensive two-headed snakes cost quite a bit and they can really range you know sometimes as low as ten thousand sometimes as much as fifty thousand uh this particular one I paid. I finally made it down into the Dallas area, but it was a day and a half more left before I eventually was able to hook up and get this beautiful snake. So in the meantime, we visited some amazing people, starting with the DFW Reptarium. We had a really amazing time seeing their animals and getting to know how passionate they are about these animals. And then the next day, we met up with Ben Stiegel, a really amazing green tree python, ball python, and even carpet python guy. We had a great time but 
once again, a lot of my mind was on getting this animal. It was only a few hours after we met up with Bill that we were able to go back to DFW to meet up with Zach the guy with the two-headed snake. We've been down in the Texas area for the last day and a half or so, having some fun, just seeing some really cool stuff. But in the next couple hours, finally, what I made this entire trip about is about to happen. And that, of course, is getting this dream animal that I am so excited about. I cannot wait. My heart is beating out of my chest. A couple hours, I'll finally be able to show you guys. The time has come. We are back here at DFW Reptarium, where we have a little bit of a meetup for the animal that I have been waiting to surprise you with. Of course. We we have Zach here, we have Haley here, and guess what that animal is? I can't wait to show you guys. And I'll be honest with you, my heart is about to pound out of my chest because I have been waiting for this too. <sighs> okay, you ready to see it? What do we got? Ah! Oh my gosh, guys. Take a look. And I know you guys are saying, like, you bought an albino corn snake? Well, the truth is, this albino corn snake is a little bit different than a normal albino corn snake. Take a look at this, guys. Oh my gosh! It is the most adorable little thing I've ever seen. That's right guys, it's a two-headed snake. And I've actually been working on getting this guy for the last like four months. So this has been a long time in the making. I tell you what, I could not be more blown away. Oh my gosh! Wow, that is crazy. Ava, what do you think, man? That's, that's incredible. Check that it. is incredible. Wow, look how the heads are joined. There's not even that much separation in the heads. Oh, it's cool, isn't it? Yeah. Do both heads eat? Oh, yeah. It's so the um, left head tries to eat, but the right head tends to be the dominant the dominant one. head. So it, it kind of pulls the left head away from the food. Interesting. So, so there you guys have it. Literally, I have driven 2,400 mile round trip just to pick this little baby up, and uh, I told it I couldn't be more happy. We're gonna get her home as quickly as we can. I cannot wait to show Lori. I tell you what, I gotta be honest with you guys. I've been a little bit nervous ever since I've gotten these two little girls and we we're heading back up north it's like all I can think about is getting home my two little babies here and uh, Forrest is in back over there uh, I guess I'm his chauffeur Paul is actually my co-pilot on this one here uh, I cannot wait to get home because I'm gonna be honest with you uh, I haven't been this nervous about an animal in a long long time or I should say animals in a long long time so hopefully we'll have smooth traffic we'll get home and we can show these gals to Lori the crew and everyone else but uh, I hope things go all right. All right, so I am back at the shop and I'm about to show the crew and then eventually Lori my new acquisition. You guys ready? Can I look? Don't can look, I look, don't look, can don't I look, look there. Okay, you guys can look. Oh, look oh my oh god, my how cool is that? Does that ever get cool or what? Dude, oh. look at that thing. I've never seen anything like it. Isn't it crazy? What the hell? Oh, wow, that's so weird. <laughs> you know, is it crazy? Oh, it's got like a little bit of a web between its heads. Yep, it, yeah, oh, it yeah, it yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so that. funny to see both of their tongues flicking. I know, is it Isn't that weird? Lori's not gonna like this one, man. It's gonna cost twice as much to On feed this guy, it. Because the heads are so like close, does do both heads eat or just uh, one? Just yeah. the actually just the right head eats. The left head has tried to eat a couple times, but the right head actually pulls away and it okay. comes out of its mouth, believe it or not. So <laughs> so up until now, every single meal, frozen thawed, the right head has eaten very well. So we'll give it a couple days and then we'll go ahead and offer it a small meal. <laughs> That's so cool. That is so freaking like cool <laughs> it's trying to go two places yeah. at once never thought i'd be holding a live one i'll tell you that okay eric this is uh you're in charge of the snake so that, if, uh, if anything happens to this animal it's, it's all it's your fault <laughs> i don't know if i can do it man <laughs> too much are you pressure? sure i'll have to sleep here at night <laughs> exactly. keep checking on it every hour Ar arm guard arm guard <laughs> yeah. all day long you yeah. never leave that cage that's yeah. not your job that makes me a little nervous, I'm not gonna lie. That is really cool though, this thing is sweet. After a long trip back, I knew Laverne and Shirley would be kind of thirsty, so I figured I would go ahead and offer them some water. It was really interesting to see the dynamic between the two heads. You have to remember, they have two independent heads, but they're sharing one body, which means that they don't need twice the amount of liquid intake. So at first they both were drinking, but then it was interesting, because one would lift its head up and just flicker its tongue, while the other one would drink and then they would kind of switch
switch off. And it was really awesome to see that they were willing to drink and rehydrate. I'm so happy that they're now set up and I don't have to stress out so much about the cross country travel. All right, Laurie's back. And this is the person that is the most important to be happy with this because uh, it wasn't cheap and she was okay and she was supportive, but I want her to be happy. So let's go ahead and see what she thinks. Lori, finally get to see it. Oh, it's a corn snake. You didn't know it was a corn snake? Just oh, you yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What do you think? And it has two heads. What do you Look think? Look at that. Is this what we've become? The two-headed animal factory? Well, you know, I didn't want to tell you this, but I was looking into buying another two-headed snake. So we'd be the only people in the entire world that had two two-headed snakes. Okay, I just made that up, but the truth is... <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> what do you think? Is it cool? Yeah, yeah, it is pretty cool. It's it's a pretty nice one, too. Yeah, that's it's what I'm saying. It's got good there's... separation and... Yeah, there's no kinks. Yeah. It looks good. A lot of times you'll see other kinking, or at least where the heads come together, you'll see some spinal deformity. This one seems to be pretty solid and really nice, so uh, pretty awesome, huh? Yeah, it looks good. So, uh, yeah, I can't wait to see it get big. And again, we're going to give it a couple days to settle in and then offer it a frozen pinky. Zach said that it ate every single time. So uh, fingers crossed that it does really well for us. But isn't that awesome? It is. Is it a boy or a girl? It's a girl. It's Laverne and Shirley. <laughs> oh, I love that. <laughs> isn't that cool? It makes me like it more. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. That went well. So there it is, guys. I am so sorry for teasing you for so long about Laverne and Shirley, but I couldn't be more excited. How awesome is that? I hope that you guys enjoyed the journey. I hope that you were excited about it and surprised about it. Let me know in the comments what you think about this animal. I am super excited. When it gets bigger, it'll be able to go next door, and hopefully a lot of people want to come and see this awesome animal and get really curious about how great reptiles are. Thank you so much for joining me today, and thank you guys for all of your support. You guys are so incredible and mean the world to me. I love you guys so much. Can you do me a couple favors before me, Laverne, and Shirley get out of here? Can you smash that like button? button as well as turn those post notifications on so you know when I upload a video which is every day seven days a week at nine o'clock in the morning eastern standard time remember to be kind to someone and for me Laverne and Shirley I'll see you guys tomorrow <laughs>